Hello and welcome to Friday Night Nexus. This is FNN 94. We have a big night ahead of us. Buddy Murphy is returning with Wesley Blake in his corner. But first, we are going to hand you over to Josh Morell. Chris Bay coming up with a huge win against Mike Bennett the last time we've seen him in action. But Mike Bennett and Jeff Jarrett in his corner this time has requested a rematch. And we will see if he will have better luck when he has the eyes of Jeff Jarrett in his corner. See Chris Bay is absolutely fired up here tonight as usual here tonight. This man is a man that came up short at FNN Legacy but he got a huge win last week against the former FNN Hardcore Championship number one contender you could say. The man that made it to the finals of the Danny Havoc Deathmatch Tournament, or Ultraviolet Tournament, should we say. But this man himself did win the FNN Heritage Championship Battle Royale. And you can hear Mike Bennett getting a little bit of a theme change. And his opponent, accompanied to the ring by Jim Terry, he is the Miracle. Mike Bennett with the king of the mountain, Jeff Jarrett, in his corner. Now, will that play a factor into this match? He has been getting mentored by the man. You can see he's walking out here with a bit more confidence, still getting a an eruption of booze towards Mike Bennett. That's what happens when you go after Masada. And speaking of him, we've not seen him in a while. We've just seen some subliminal messaging from the crow. And you can definitely see this man does have some confidence and he has a strut about him, it seems. Mike Bennett getting fired up for this match here against Chris Bay. It is a rematch here tonight. A rematch. You can see Mike Bennett knows that Jeff Jarrett is watching him in this contest. Now here we go. The ref has rung the bell. This match is underway face to face. Both men and Chris Bay with a punch straight to the face and a receipt by Mike Bennett and Chris Bay now just taking it to him but Mike Bay says no. Or Mike Bennett, sorry. And here we go. Punch after punch. Chris Bay, no. Boom. Hell yeah, here we go, Mike Bennett taking it to him, but Chris Bay coming back now and a pelly kick across the head of Mike Bennett. This is it, Chris Bay now taking advantage, Jeff Jarrett watching on through the ropes and here we go, that rope assisted pile driver right there, smashing his face right into the ropes, up to the top rope and a frog splash of the 5 star rating. No, just a, a zero count. Mike Bennett managing to kick out. It was an early pin in this match. You can see Chris Bay taking the turnbuckle pad off. Anything goes and into the turnbuckle goes Mike Bennett. Chris Bay's got something to show here. He wants to avenge that loss against Bob Holly. And here we go. Head scissors. Hurricanrana takes Mike Bennett down. Mike Bennett wincing in pain as Chris Bay calls him to his feet. The ultimate finesse on now, going for another Hurricanrana, but Bennett says no with a big power bomb, sorry. And a spine buster, going for the pin, hooks the leg, one, just a one count. Still early going in this match, Chris Bay straight back to his feet, dodges the punch and a pelly kick once again. Just completely jamming the entire sp the head into the spine. You can break your neck. 
complete, completely fusing your neck and here we go up to the second rope and a moonsault beautiful double foot stomp now Chris Bay and a clothesline to a seated Mike Bennett and you can see Jeff Jarrett does not look impressed by Chris Bay here and a chop right across the chest of Bennett and through the ropes goes Bennett here we go Chris Bay off the ropes and over he goes takes Bennett down the crowd are fired up for this match here tonight. Into the ring goes Mike Bennett. Chris Bay now calling him to his feet. Here we go. What can Chris Bay be going for? Through the ropes. And a neck breaker. Classic Bay right there. With some finesse. And that could be a three count if the ref was in the ring. One, two, three, no. It was like an eight count or something. The ref, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy job by the ref right there. Here we go, Chris, Chris Bay, Irish whip into the corner. And just shades of Samoa Joe right there with the STO out of the corner. Big elbow across the face and another spine buster taking Bennett down. The referee once again distracted in that corner. Bennett calling Bay to his feet and a splash right into the back there we go big Irish whip into the corner Chris Bay punching him down on the head and again and here we go raking his face against the ropes some dirty moves by Chris by Mike Benny here side rushing leg sweep into the centre of the ring and just stomping down in his stomach as the fight zone erupts into booze Bennett going to the top rope now here. He's all the way up there and another splash out of the corner. Super flying right out of that corner. Big elbow just missing it but Chris Bay coming back now and the, Jesus a roundhouse kick to the side of the head. Now Chris Bay calling Mike Bennett to his feet. And wait, I think Mike Bennett rolled out of the ring and Chris Bay not letting him get out of it. He completely built up that jump there. Chris Bay throwing him back into the ring. And over he goes, here we go. Chris Bay trying to get back into this match. Bumps into him, kicks and a big scoop slam in to the centre of the ring now Chris Bay calling him to his feet fireman's carry float over by Mike Bennett and a low blow and you can see Jeff Jarrett cheering that on of course he is Mike Bennett with the low blow and wait a second wait a second a variation of the strut right there and going for the pin and Chris Bay's head bleeding Mike Bennett won and of course, he uses dirty tactics. It's, it's the reign of terror of Jeff Jarrett all over again. Only he's using Mike Bennett as his... as his protege here, it seems. Planet Jarrett reigning supreme. Mike Bennett, the miracle, is your winner here tonight. And the fight zone are not impressed. But one man that is impressed is... Jeff Jarrett and you can see him right there that is a very a very proud agent right there the miracle is your victor here tonight Well, there's our main event set for tonight. Tony Storm going up against Tinel Dashwood. Please welcome Wade 
for. This is an interesting one. This is what's known as an evaluation of the, by the black label, and that means a professional wrestling match. So that is why Wade Barrett is coming out here in his wrestling gear. He doesn't know who his opponent is, he doesn't know why, he doesn't fully understand why he's been evaluated. But I'm guessing that's what we're here to find out tonight. Wade Barrett, former FNN World Champion, he's not been putting on impressive impressive matches as of late, comes up with a lot of losses. But here we are, let's see who his opponent is here. Wait a second. Wade Barrett has been kicked out of the black label, but what does he mean? He's, this is pre-recorded. Wait a second. Jesus, steel chair across the back of the head. And Drew Galloway now. Here we go, pile driver. Centre of the ring. This is not a match. This is just... This is just him getting getting his... Getting his, um, his route to the unemployment line right here. Drew Galloway beating down Wade Barrett here tonight. This is it, Wade Barrett's out of the black label. It was good while it lasted, I guess. But when you put your hands on the chosen one, this is what happens. The black label hold no... They, they don't hold prisoners, they don't... They don't let anyone weigh the band down, lay the gang down. This is it, they just gang-like mentalities, they just eradicate, they just beat you down until you cannot come back. you see seen him do it to Mark Andrews, you can see the fight zone are cheering them on, some people are disgusted by it and they have to send a stretcher out. This is not good for Wade Barrett here, but Drew Galloway clearly doesn't care. Wade Barrett just been completely beaten down, now getting taken out by doctors here. It's Drew Galloway finished, that is what I think he is pondering here and he is not finished because of course he is not. Here we go, time for more beat down. Just completely obliterating him out of that stretcher, Jesus Christ. We're getting told we're cutting so we're going to a, a promo by Nick Aldis, let, let that roll. is coming back tonight. Blake and Murphy are returning. The two men that of course had the the, the very eventful Hell's Isolation match and at the inaugural, the end event. But now they decide it's time. Buddy Murphy's had the World Championship twice now. It's time for them to go for the tag team championships, but they don't just get to skip the line, they don't just get, get to go to the top, even FTR don't get to go to the top and they are the self-proclaimed undefeated champions in Friday Night Nexus. 
but the person that isn't an undefeated champion is Buddy Murphy. And the person that isn't a champion in general in Friday Night Nexus is Wesley Blake, but both men are fired up here tonight. They both want to get a tag team championship shot. So as the rankings go, you just have to win matches and make sure that you put on a damn good display and the EC3 decides, do you know what? You'll get me some money, so let's put you on the show. That, that's at the end of the day, he's what's known as the Booker Man. And Wesley Blake knows that, Buddy Murphy knows that, everyone knows it. And everyone's always had a problem with the Bookers of Friday Night Nexus, whether it's been Eric Bischoff, Shane McMahon, or EC3 himself. But here we go, tag team contest coming up. And who is the opponents? That is the question. And their opponent, they are the table. Odyssey and Pero B. Oh shit. That is the one man demolition machine and his tag team partner. Odinson, so he's, he's a two-man demolition machine right here, that is Paro and Odinson. The end, these two men caused an absolute riot in Evolve. They would show up, they would obliterate whoever the hell they wanted, and then they would leave. So this isn't a good, <laughs> this is not a good team for Blake and Murphy to return here tonight against. Here we go. Two big boys in this match here. And you can see both men, Paro likes to show off a little bit more than Odinson himself. But who is starting these matches here tonight? Buddy Murphy, former world champion, starting in the big man Paro on his side. Bell has been rung and a knee across the face. You know that he was not going to try and call an elbow tie up this big man because stuff like that will just happen. He's clobbering blows by Paro right into the centre of the ring now. Paro not even caring. Big Irish whip into the corner and he tags in Odinson. And now just point body blows and body blows and a Yakuza kick into the corner. Bulldozing him. And you can see Odinson just showing off now. He waits until he's getting the advantage to show off. That's very smart by him. Now a punch, a clobbering blow across the face. And going for a splash in the corner but Buddy Murphy says no. Going for the neck breaker and takes the big man down. He's a former world champion, he's not no slouch. Here we go, single knee across the face. Now Buddy Murphy picking up Odinson here. Big Irish whip in to the corner. Now Buddy Murphy going for a kick in the corner, but Odinson says no. And go, just a, more of these clobbering blows takes Buddy Murphy down to one knee, but Murphy says no. Now beating him in the corner. Tags in Wesley Blake, big Irish whips, drop toe hold, and an elbow across the spine. Buddy Murphy gone, Wesley Blake back into the advantage here tonight. He is the fresh man here. Buddy Murphy took the beating for the first little bit. Big neck breaker into the centre of the ring. They've been well down that neck, now a stomp into the back of it. Here we go, Irish whip into the corner. And Wesley Blake, power bomb, here we go, getting a buckle bomb, boom, right into that spine first, neck first, you know that has obliterated people, has ended careers, now takes him down once more, they just keep trying to keep this man down, big knee across the face, you want to try and keep him away from his tag team partner as well, it just takes one one bad move, one slip up, just like that for these men to get back in and a clothesline taking his head clean off big Irish whip into the corner tags in Paro and here we go big splash into the corner and here we go Paro's got him up and he takes him down and he stays on him for the pin this could be it one two 
three, no, just gets a shoulder up. Just getting the shoulder up. And you can see it instantly went back down. That was just that was just muscle, muscle memory right there. Big back suplex dropping down in the height that he would have fell right onto his head. You can see Buddy Murphy shouting for Blake to tag him in. And now Paro just just letting Buddy Murphy watch. Buddy Murphy shouting for him to get up. And Paro just saying that he's going to break him in two. And that's exactly what they seem to be doing here. This is not a good showing. Oh no, Jesus Christ, the claw. Jesus Christ, Paro is just manhandling Wesley Blake here. And now look at this, into a backbreaker. Just wincing on the ground and mounting him once more, just with these clubbing blows across the head. Paro is decimating him here, now he's getting fired up. What is Paro thinking of here? Big Irish whip into the corner and a splash right into him. Now here we go, that claw once again, the manhandling of him. Paro now got him up. And volley slam right there. Throwing him halfway across the ring. Oh, Jesus, a club. Those clubbed hands. Jesus Christ, just bushwhacking him. Just bushwhacking him now. Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. The obliteration of him. Here they go. Now Paro just grabbing, grabbing Buddy Murphy here. Look at that, this match is over, completely decimated. But then again, the end for a new breed. Paro completely owned every second that he was in the ring. Holy shit, Wesley Blake stood no chance. Next week we will have Cody Rhodes going up against Bob Holly. That is a grudge match and it goes down next week. EC3 has been announcing changes to Friday Night Nexus, saying that this place is too dangerous, so this will be one of these other announcements that he wants to make. He claimed no titles, this, this and that, and no rules, but nobody wants this, we're happy with what we've got. What could this man possibly bring that can be good for FNN? Who knows, the guy The guy just seems to be talking a lot of uh, manure as of late and I could lose my job for even saying that, but who the hell cares? Let's hand you over to the CEO, the general manager, EC3. See, that's what I mean. That is what I mean. Every other general manager had the interests of the fans first. That was their main priority, but this guy cares about the so-called network. Well, fuck the network, fuck the system, and fuck EC3. That is what the fans say. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm an unbiased reporter here. This FNN main event is brought to you by Patreon. Get it on early access. 
today. This fight is full. You heard the man himself, this is for the FNN Women's World Championship. Tinel Dashwood came up with the W against Tony Storm last time on FNN. And Tinel Dashwood definitely wants to make sure she gets another W here tonight because she will be leaving this building with the FNN World Championship around her waist. And you can see Tino Dashwood is absolutely just arrogant as per usual walking into the ring. As you do, as you do, because as she says, it's all about her here tonight. And she walked straight into the main event. And once again, walking straight into the main event, this time for an FNN Women's World Championship match. And that could play a factor in the mind of Tony Storm, but we will have to wait and see if that is the case. TNL Dashwood is ready here tonight, Tony Storm is just about coming and here we go Tony Storm your FNN Women's World Champion walking in here tonight undefeated oh wait no 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 she's not undefeated that would be a lie because of Tina Dashwood the women's champion isn't undefeated she did lose last week on FNN and that that is going to play a factor here tonight if, if you're the champion and you lose against someone then that person gets a shot at your championship that is going to be in the back of your mind. That loss is going to constantly be there. And we're going to see that in full form here tonight. This is your main event of FNN 94. And it is for the FNN Women's World Championship. We are going to leave you with the Master of Ceremonies here tonight. And that is... Josh Morell, let's get it going. Ages first, Tenu Dashwood. And her opponent, FNN, who is it? This is it, that is what is on the line, the FNN Women's World Championship, FNN 96, main event, the referee rings the bell, let's get it going, in a repeat of last time, a discus forearm across the face by Tony Storm, she is not messing about, dragging leg screw right there, and here we go, tucking the arm, boom, more small joint manipulation. We've been seeing that get used a lot in Friday Night Nexus as of late. Picking up Tina Dashwood here and the big Irish whip off the ropes. Here we go. Going for a hip toss there. Tina Dashwood tried to stop her, but Tony Storm said hell no and just throws her down with the hip toss. Big Irish whip into the corner and a drop kick across the face. Tony Storm not finished and another for good measure takes Dashwood down and here we go working on that arm once more and tries to pop the shoulder out of its socket. You love to see it. 
F in 96, here we go, swift, stiff European uppercut, should I say, big Irish whip once again off the ropes and a big boot across the face, Tony Storm is bringing it, this is why she is the world champion and again working on that arm and here she goes, tries to pop it out and Tina Dashwood has to roll out, she has to get a breather, get, get away from her, punched in the face. Dashwood finally getting some momentum here. Now Dashwood, big Irish whip in to the barricade and straight in to the stiffest part of the ring, the apron. The corner of that apron is a brutal part of the ring. Into the ring goes Tony Storm, T now Dashwood follows. It's not looking good for the champion, punch across the head and just throws her down with the snap me and a kick across the spine. Dashwood has the champion rocked here, but the champion comes back with a big kick into the gut and she's got a cravat into a suplex, just tossing her over. Do you know, Dashwood washed up on the ropes there. Oh, it just kicks her right in the face, Jesus Christ, the toe of the foot right into the face. Now Dashwood just throws her into the corner. It is all legal in Friday Night Nexus, or at least for now it is. And Dashwood with a monkey flip, beautiful wrestling manoeuvre right there. Just picking up Dashwood, here we go. Big Irish whip, and she says no drop toe hold. Slamming the champion's face right into the canvas and just stomping the back of the head. And an elbow and another for good measure. Kicks nothing but air, but connect with the second. Takes her down with the wrestling hold once again. Stomp across the back of the head. And boom! Snapping the neck down. Tinel Dashwood calling Tony Storm to her feet. The champion dazed and confused here, but sidesteps her anyway. This is it, the champion getting back in control here. Slaps her across the face into the cravat once again and throws her across the ring. Now Tony Storm got her up, sidewalk slam into the backbreaker, spine first. If you can't put her down, break the back, that'll sure keep her down. And got her up, back suplex, dropping her down in the back of the head. Trying to break the neck of Tinel Dashwood. Tony Storm has got something to prove here and she has shown it. She's got the bridge from the German suplex. Two, three, no. So close yet so far away. The champion could have retained there. And you can see she's trying to take in the crowd, trying to get something behind her here. Just stomps the back of the head of Tinel Dashwood and she's still feeling the pain of all the aggression Tony Storm is throwing her way and another German suplex. FNN's resident rock star just decimating Tinel Dashwood here, a stiff European uppercut once again. Kick to the gut and another uppercut. Tinel Dashwood is rocked here. Once again, just punching on the bridge of the nose, and she's got her rolled up. One, just a one count. Takes a lot more than a leverage pin to put the champ down. Tina Dashwood knows this, and now they're all tied up here. Tony Storm clothesline over the top rope goes Tina Dashwood. Now Tony Storm showing the aggression, but Tina Dashwood once again, and a kick to the face. No matter what Tony Storm throws T-Niles away, she brings these moves that just are decimating the face of Tony Storm. All these punches to the nose and now just a big kick. That toe straight into the gut once more. No. t Dashwood kicks Tony Storm down and picks her up on a forearm across the face up to the top rope goes Tony Storm this is not good and just tosses her down Tino Dashwood to the top rope and a dropping fist across the the crouched body of Tony Storm Tino Dashwood just staying on the champion no matter what it takes and a big splash out of the corner Tino Dashwood stomp onto the arm, 
And now she's picking up the champion. And what's she going for here? Tiger suplex throwing her down. Jesus Christ, going for the pin. This could be it. Count to 100, maybe? No. Even that shock to Tina Dashwood, I wasn't quite sold on that being the end of the match, but here we are. Picking up Tony Storm here, Tina Dashwood. Jesus Christ. It's almost spiking her right on her head. Tina Dashwood doesn't know what to do to put the champion away. And wait a second, she got for the motor lock. She is going. For the Mutalock here, you can see she's showing off, she should not be showing off against the champion. She's got the Mutalock locked in deep, Does she, she, I don't think she has the hands clasped. I do not think she has the hands clasped. This is, but this still could be it, she has the hands clasped perhaps, no! Tony Storm just powers out of it. And this is it. That could have been the end of the match if she could get her hands gripped together. Now back into these drop kicks she goes, and that is why Tony Storm is the champion. This is it. She is looking for the Storm Zero, or otherwise known as the Tiger Driver. Here we go. This is what the hell. The lights have gone out. What the hell? Holy sh Wait a second. That would have been a three count, but that is the that's the alpha female. That is Jazzy Garber, and the, the referee's called for the bell. It's rarely you get a disqualification win, but when a match is absolutely disrupted by a behemoth of a woman, this walking war machine right here, the alpha female decimating the champion here, and look at her, Jesus Christ. Pump handle suplex almost, just tossing her over. And here we go, now t Dash Dashwood, this was all part of the plan. And Alpha Female now showing off, this was all part of the plan. Some people are cheering, the children are not cheering. That is just how this is going. The Alpha Female has clearly been, been brought here by t Dash Dashwood and it's paying dividends here. Just absolutely decimating the champion, the referees could just watch on, I would not get go all one on one up against Jazzy Gar, but no chance in the world but that is it Tina Dashwood has laid down laid down the commandments here this is it, Jazzy Garbo and Tina Dashwood what a way to end FN94 with the champion completely decimated but she is still the champion here tonight. Thank you for watching.